Um, so that was another chant. Ooh, that sucker just shot me up there. Those guys aren't very hard to deal with. They're just kind of melee characters. You can just kite them around. Um, they will pop you when you get close with their staff. Just kind of chunk you in the head there. Um, ooh, there we go. See, he's just he's got crazy knockback. Bastard. Metal bastard. Alright, so um, I'm looking at the mini-map here, and I'm seeing a couple of things I want to check out. Uh, this green square is obviously another little upgrade. Um, oops, fired off a lightning bolt there. So you can see it's it's up to 35 now, because we've gotten three or four. Um, oop, oh, that's an enemy. I wasn't even... God, I thought that was one of my spells. The um, graphics that are used in this game can can get a little confusing just because sometimes your spells look a little bit like the enemies uh, but it doesn't happen too often um, so I went through a red door you can see the green door is where I've come from or any area that I've already accessed a red door is an unexplored area it's a great great feature in a game like this really necessary this game has a lot of things that you know I think are kind of necessary to a huge explorative game like this that um, Maybe aren't used in some, uh, you know, in games produced by bigger companies. You know, it's weird, but uh, yeah, that's why I like this game. I think it's very accessible, and, uh, even though it can be very difficult. I think there's a lot to learn and a lot to like. So I've got another mini boss I'm dealing with here. So like two out of three, I think. And not too worried about him. Cool. Now you can see um, when I'm killing enemies, there's a little message that's popping up saying, giving me a number and saying, uh, you know, however many, three more till next unlock. I think that's what it was for the boss. The uh, other creeps are, it's going to give you a lot higher levels. It's going to be 23 until next unlock. And what those are, sometimes those will unlock new enchants for you. Um, sometimes those will unlock new enemy types, actually. Um, so that's kind of just a, a sort of adaptive difficulty where when you kill a certain number of enemies, you, uh, you start to unlock new items, new enemies, all sorts of things, all sorts of cool stuff. Um, there's also a level up mechanic in this game, uh, but your character doesn't level your uh, civilization does. And if I scroll over planning here, it's going to show me civilization progress in the middle there, uh, which is at zero, and then 200 CP remains before my continent tier increases. And that's going to level up all the, the enemies, um, and it's also going to give me access to all kinds of new stuff. So that's sort of what you're shooting for. Um, and as I said before, missions seem to me, at least, to be the only way to gain experience. Um, yeah. All right. I'm just kind of progressing through these caves. I think this is a boss room, so we should see him show up in a second here. Um, again, I'm just gra grabbing these. It's showing me uh, everything I really want and need on the map. Everything I could ever want or need. It's right there. It's showing me where it is. I love these little procedurally generated platforms too because. In Terraria, you know, if you if you went down into the, the earth or whatever, you needed to build your own platforms. And here, you, you still sort of do if you need access to certain areas. But um, they do give you just the whole whole bunch of, of already generated platforms to jump on, which is really cool. And they do a great job of it. Uh, these levels are not hard to navigate at all, even though I'm doing a pretty piss poor job of it. Um, Okay. Just heading up another stairwell into the last boss room here. We've got boss room 10. And uh, something to look at real quick before he attacks me. Um, this dungeon map you can see here has extended. And all of the, every floor that I've gone through has added on another little room. And um, that can be a little hard to figure out at first. Uh, there's a lot of little things that'll pop up on there. Um, when you hover over a door, it'll show you which room that's going to lead you to. So you can see I'm the little big pulsating gem here. I'm pulsing, pulsing with something, uh, energy or lust or something like that. And then you can see as I walk over this door to downstairs, another tiny 
pulsing gem is going to appear showing me where I would go if I were to use that door. So I'm just going to kind of scout around here, kill a couple of the smaller guys, so kill this boss. It's a lot easier to fight these guys from the air, by the way. Um, they're just really weak, and I've done it a lot, so I'm just sort of being lazy, not really strategic at all. Um, okay. So that, so as you see, um, you know, I got, I got a whole bunch of stuff when that happened. Uh, I got plus 40 to civilization progress. Um, I got a, all those items that were promised to me, the pearls and the Welkin gel, and all that good stuff, and uh, yeah, so now I'm pretty much done with the mission, and you'll see I don't have to walk all the way out, they'll give me an exit from this place, so I make it. Usually there's an exit right after the boss. This is a little unusual. It's making me go through another room. Evil room 12. Which is, uh, I'm not sure if you know this, but evil room 12 is a lot more evil than evil room 11. You know, it's exponential, the amount of evil. Okay. All right. Might as well swoop up these collectibles. So I'm about to, about to hit another enchant. If I grab all three of these, it probably will. Let's see. 86.5. Well, actually, I might need one more. Ah, that's a bummer. Oh, no, I'm at 94.7. I was reading the wrong thing. So <clears throat> this will give me a new enchant. So I got power legs. Let's see what those do. 20 plus movement speed. All right. Sit down. So this is looking like, yeah, here's the, this is the warp uh, pod here, whatever this thing is. I think it actually might be a closed version of the uh, pedestal that gives you the mission info. That's what it looks like to me anyways. All right, so it's uh, kind of just dropped me back outside here. Um, now I could progress through this chunk a little further. Ugh. This is, I really don't like the way this generated. It may have kind of screwed me. Oh, no, I'm okay. Alright. Um, so, yeah, I could progress. You know, I could go all the way through this area left and uh, visit these other two surface areas in the chunk. But I'm not really going to do that. So that's a, it's a big undertaking. And I just want to go back home and see if I can make any new spells. I'm a simple man. Simple tastes. Ugh. Really, you know, all I want is just to be able to go home. Okay. Oof, this is hellish. <clears throat> I, I've never really had this much trouble with a world being generated like this. Um, it's not the best. I just got unlucky. U usually, they're very easy to, to navigate. And to be honest, I could have gone through here and found another warp portal and just warped back to this gate. It's really easy to to kind of warp back and forth through the worlds. All right, cool. So there you can see that mission's disappeared. I've unlocked a couple more. Uh, that one was already there. This one's new. Just gives me a bunch of welcome gel. And uh, now I could go to any one of these locations and there's gonna be tons of stuff to do there. Um, I'll just pick a, a random one next to my, uh, next to my settlement here. Um, and you'll see, so there's it's always gonna be bunch of enemies to kill. There's a nice easy gate near the entrance. And then see this place has a, a tunnel to underground caverns. Which that's just going to be a, it's basically a dungeon area. There's no boss there, but there's all kinds of stuff you can find. And you can find secret missions, which will reward you with those uh, crafting items that, you know, I really need to unlock the higher tier spells. But they don't give you experience, which is nice because you're, you can up your, uh, you know, you can buff your character spells and stuff without having to level up the world. 
and therefore kind of get ahead of yourself. Alrighty. Well, I have managed to not die, so I'm impressed at myself. Uh, the settlement's given me some more uh, wooden crates and platforms, which is very nice of it. This is a difficulty changer here. I'm not going to be using that yet. Um, so now I'm, I'm at the crafting bench. I've gotten some items, so I'm going to go ahead and click Learn New Spell. And wow, great. Okay, so I have uh, two ice spells now, and then uh, a le level two light spells. I'm going to go with Energy Orb. Energy Slice apparently used to be really OP. I think they really nerfed it. Um, it used to be able to kill background entities, and it was like a one-hit kill, and now it barely does any damage. 16.8 versus... 50.4, that's my other energy orb. Um, <clears throat> so even my lightning, my lightning is 43, you know, 16, you just, you can't even, it's not even worth it. Um, I've also got a couple of ice spells. Uh, I don't really need those, so I'm tempted to just say, screw it for now. Um, Um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and take Ice Block, just in case. And once you've learned the spell, you do have to equip it, unless, you know, I, d I don't have to re-equip Energy Orb, because I already have it, it just levels up to level 2. Um, here we go, Ice Block. Oh, it already added it, apparently. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay. So, that's a little visit home. Um, and I'm checking the time here, and I think I'm gonna call that a uh, short video for now so um i hope you enjoyed this little first uh mission video i'll try to make another one with another mission another mission soon i'll try to open up something a little different um find a different mission to do and try to learn a little bit more about the game so if you enjoyed this video at all uh let me know uh, let me know what you enjoyed about it um even if it's just the soothing melodious sound of my voice um if you hated it, you know, let me know what you hated about it, because, heck, you know, we can all use improvement, even me. So, uh, yeah, uh, I guess that's going to be it for now. Um, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you soon.